Trey Hendrickson, the defensive end from Florida Atlantic. Six foot four, 255. I went back after Monday night's practice to the hotel room. I put on the FAU tape, and what you see is a relentless edge rusher. He's a little twitchier and more athletic. And who returned that kick. Also back there, Taylor McNamara, the H-back, the tight end out of USC, and Lutz going to throw deep down the left sideline. That's Carell Hamilton, the local kid from Samford, and he has the coverage. Find the football. Carell Hamilton from Strawberry Crest High School. And here's Joe Williams out of Utah. Williams, the 30, the 20. Williams, one man to beat. He's going to get wrestled down. His story a little bit later. It's an interesting one, certainly this past year at Utah. And here's Williams again in the, the tackle. Flat. And he's going to get wrestled down. And 2-3, you State on State him, makes an open field tackle there. And again, it's Joe Williams with a 35-yard run earlier. Not much over the right side, maybe a yard to set up third. And runs out of the shotgun on third down. Lunt throws. That's complete. That's Gabe Marks, the wide receiver out of Wash Hamilton, wide right. And we have Joe Williams going nowhere. Joe Williams stood up and denied all his suggestions, as one coach told us this week, as we see Wes Lunt, Dare Ogumbawale out of Wisconsin, getting maybe two yards across the 45 on his by press coverage up the field. Here is Lunt to throw, and Lunt to his tight end, Roberts. We're a big fan of Roberts, and he, who had 16 touchdown catches during the right... was the opposite, and he ran 4-9-4 in the spring, Mike, but I thought he played a lot faster. Yeah. Than yeah. Here's Ogumbawale. Speaking of speed, the other Wisconsin running back who really looked good this week is... Yeah, we talk about trading one for one. Lunt on first down. Lunt throws complete to one of the more intriguing guys here. There's an H-back. And so Brad is to the left. Ogunbowale with a move in the backfield to get across the five. Also trying to make it to the next level and in the backfield next to Lunt on second and goal. Who goes fade? That's Trey Griffey who can't bring it down. And Trey Griffey to the left on third and goal. And Lunt is going to swing it right. Ogunbowale through behind him. Nowhere to go. And he is going to get... Pass rush up against the run. That's who he is. Heel with the play fake, and then the throw wide right to the wide receiver out of Air Force. J Having been in one of the Shriners hospitals, said it was one of the big reasons he wanted to come back. It was kind of cool, you guys, to watch him warming up when they played a video of him on the big screen. Gunnar Keel now on second down, throwing to the sideline. Second. Duction. Well, they've spread it around pretty good there, and they've went for a there bunch of quarterbacks. There's Griffey. He's got your production right there. His team, he has attended every game that he's played at the University of Arizona, but he does not want to be a distraction at all, catching the ball there. In this building, the home of the Rays. Almost called it the Devil Rays, but that's been a while. Here's McGuire up the middle. McGuire breaks a tackle, and he's... Um, and 42 rushing touchdowns, and he takes this handoff again from Keel, and again shows good vision. Gets across the 40. That's a gain of six for McGuire. Under nine to go now, second quarter. Keel hit as he throws. That ball is out. It was Hendrickson who got him. And the West is going to hang on to the football. 6'4", 255. Here, here he's working right now on Genesee from Texas A&M. Good kick slide. Actually, Genesee gets bumped by his H-back, so Hendrickson got a little help there. <laughs> but he flattens to the quarterback, aware of where the football is, strips it out of the quarterback's hand. He's been around the football, and Danny, in addition to this week, he a heck of a career at FAU. Yeah, and that was a trifecta. When you get to tackle the quarterback and the ball on the ground, <laughs> you've done something right. You've done a good thing. Third and five for Keel, rolling out, keeping his eyes downfield, throwing downfield, but over the head. Player than he is a practice player just because he's so scrappy. Here's Terrell rolling right out of the pistol after the play fake, and he is going to get brought down by line of scrimmage to make the play. Schultz led the FCS with 17 sacks this year as Joe Williams is back in line coaching position last night at midnight. Congratulations. Absolutely. Here's the little screen on third and long, and here is Joe Williams across the 50. He's not going to get there because up to make the debaters, it's probably the wrong game for you. Third down, Terrell looks left. He's going to take that ball, run, and slide across the 50 for a... Taking off and running. Mike had that comparison earlier. Terrell, incomplete, in and out of the hand. So in the neighborhood, Gabe Marks, 316 receptions, the most in Pac-12 history again. It's Marks as the intended receiver. Not an eye on the left tackle here. Terrell's going to throw to the ground, nowhere to go, trying to set up a stud well <laughs> from the Vikings. It might be a better name than his. <laughs> Oh, you gotta love it. Also a cool name, Dare Ogumbawale. 
Hawks hand quick. Good to see a guy come out of his break. One to Agumbawale. So Big Ten handing to Big Ten with not a lot of room over the right side. For whatever reason, don't physically match up, but a really good football player. Here's Lunt on third down to Roberts, the tight end. He gets away from the tackle from Hairston. You are a temple. The short area quickness and what kind of power do you have after the catch? Agumbawale up the middle. Michael Roberts, sixth in FBS with 16 touchdowns. This past year, 22 career to work with there. <laughs> Got Billy Brown from Shepard into the game, and they're going to throw Billy Brown the ball. He's playing wide receiver here today. You guys think. Now second and 10 for West Lunt. Throws the screen left to Austin Carr. The Northwestern receiver. Carr is now slot to the right there where he played mostly at Northwestern. And Lunt's going to throw it on the ground for Ogunbowale then. Out of Cincinnati, back in the game, a quarterback. He has Joe Williams out of Utah with the carry. Second and five, Gunner Keel. Joe Williams, nowhere to go, hitting the backfield and brought down by a guy that was certainly some of it on the field today. As Keel is back on his one and under pressure on third down, and he is going down. Gunner Keel out of Cincinnati, back into the game. See if he can take a shot downfield. Here he is, left side. Oh, did he get it? Hamilton going to get a chance to play inside as a nickel, Mike. Yep. And a ball came out at the end, and here's McGuire with the carry. The raging Cajun running back to him. They're not. That McGuire up the gut. McGuire with 10 to 5 and into the end zone for. Oh, we'll see some of these names coming up tomorrow. Elijah McGuire with the game's only touchdown has the carry there, hitting the backfield. Hey. John Allison came right out of the gate, looked good in the first quarter last week. Nice cut, made a name for himself. Nice cut by Elijah McGuire before Brian Cox. As McGuire stays in the backfield, Robinette and Trey Griffey, the two receivers to the left instead. And there it is, there's Griffey with the reception across the 25. Let's give him. One of those teams that likes to play that man up front, going to love him. Here's Joe Williams out of Utah. A nice little wiggle for Joe Williams. He hits those more. The Colorado defensive tackle. Play fake. Terrell flips it to McNamara. The USC tight end. McNamara down the left side. He's going to get it from 13. Forces the turnover. And now Terrell is going to hand it off here. And getting around the right side is Dare Ogunbawal. Eight man front. Throw it. Play fake. Terrell. Throws it wide, dropped by the tight end, Blake Jarwin. From the 17, Ogumboale, again, the running back. And with the lead, he's going to get the carry, and they know they're going to run. Where he belongs. Good rotational player. Yep. Utah's Joe Williams now with the carry. Williams gets 